All right, it is the spooky season, yeah. so of course it's time to bring all of your fears out for everyone to see. So are either of you afraid of spiders? I mean, uh, I don't welcome them, right, but exactly. I don't, I don't yeah. shriek. Unless it's like they're fear. just in groves, then it's yeah. like, absolutely not. Yeah. yeah. Well, it turns out, by the way, I think I have more of a fear of spiders than you guys yeah. do. And there's an app that lets you know how afraid you really are of those creepy crawlers. Uh, John set out to get a professional opinion on this and joining mm -hmm. us now with the results. Had to go, John. Yeah, well, it certainly begs the question, what's the difference between a fear and a phobia? Someone with arachnophobia might freak out just seeing a spider in their basement. They certainly wouldn't be holding spiders. Well, neither am I. I'm not that brave. These are just some plastic Halloween decorations. But someone with arachnophobia, even these could set them into a panic. Well, there's a new app out there called Phobus that's designed to help you get over your extreme fear of spiders with augmented reality. It's a free download where it'll test your comfortability around a virtual spider to see just how fearful you are. And then for five bucks, the app can apparently treat you. But is it for everybody? I asked a professional about the difference between a fear of spiders and arachnophobia. The difference is how scared you get, right? So if you are have a phobia of a spider, you have a marked fear, okay? So if I go down to my basement and I see a big black thing crawling, I might get a little nervous and not like it. However, a person with a phobia might have a panic attack. And so these individuals are going to have a severe response every about every time they encounter. Your fear level could be different than my fear level. So it could start as simple as like holding a pretend spider or looking at a pretend spider to looking at a picture of a spider to imagining a spider. So you can do imaginal exposures where you close your eyes and you imagine whatever you're afraid of happening to then the actual Big Bang 100 would be holding a spider. Yeah, I can hold these spiders. I definitely don't uh, don't like real spiders. I can handle the plastic ones. <laughs> Blake says the app could be effective and she does use it uh, for her therapy, but definitely recommends some professional help on top of using that Phobus app, guys.